so here is the room tour of the Venetian. When you first come in, you're greeted with a really soothing uh, area. It, uh, the bathroom. <laughs> they have a separated shower and bath tub. And um, they have dual sinks, which is convenient. A lot of different lighting options. And there's a privacy um, toilet room with a telephone next to it and a vanity area to do your makeup with an extra mirror. So that's a nice area to get ready. And then the king room. You have two TVs in there. And it's really a nice, beautiful room. You have two side tables with table lamps. The decor here is really nice, very classy, very nice in detail. They have artwork and crown molding and those um, wainscots in the walls. Overall, it's a very beautiful room to stay in. You also have a couch next to the bed if you want to change shoes and watch TV and there's plenty of drawers and a closet. The TV show you what restaurants and attractions are at the hotel. I like that room divider between the bedroom and the suite area. I put my bags on there. And then you step down two steps into the uh, living room area. They have the um, snacks and stuff under the TV and the refrigerator there. Obviously it's not free, but it's there. We had sidecar on our drive to Vegas. And then there's also a um, pretty L sh nice sh sized L-shaped couch so you can have guests over. Just love the art. And you have a desk, a work desk in case you brought your laptop with you and you need to do a little bit of work while on vacation. <laughs> you know, some people gotta work 24-7. The It's a very nice view. The lighting on the art, perfect. And the swimming pool, masks are required, except for when you're in the water. We went on a Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, so the weekend days are definitely more crowded than Monday and Tuesdays. And things are closed Tuesday. Sorry, things are closed Mondays, Tuesdays. And definitely everywhere is open on weekends, which also the costs reflect um, the convenience of that. So I didn't actually go in the water, but I just sunbathe. And the weather was pretty nice in April, end of April. There's two pools, one's a family pool, which is pretty empty, and then the adult pool, which is really crowded. But they have water fountains out there, it's beautiful. The manicured landscaping, the hot tub is closed. Uh, for dinner, we went to Major Domo. Uh, make a reservation a day ahead at least, so you get an ideal time slot for dinner. I got a glass of sake, which they made there at Major Domo. It was very good. They also have their house water, house bottled water appetizers. We got this really good, like, naan with like a dip. It's fusion. It's so good. So much flavor. Right here, we got the smoked tomato macaroni pasta. So good, definitely recommend trying it out. After dinner we went to Electra, which is also at the Venetian Palazzo. It's a little bit different than what we're normally used to in terms of a lounge or a club. The music was definitely good. Um, the capacity is, you know, under control due to, you know, keeping it safe. 
I don't believe we have to wear masks when we're drinking and stuff inside. So yeah, at nighttime, this is the Venetian outdoors. Very beautiful. Makes you feel like you're in Europe. <laughs> but you're in Vegas. The gondola rides are open also at night. The outdoor ones sold out sooner than the indoor one. But um, yeah, we were so close getting an outdoor ride, but the person ahead of us bought the last ticket. And what's nice is you can have the gondola to yourself. Usually it's shared with another couple or something. So right now, due to like restrictions, you get the gondola all to yourself. So that's kind of nice. Although I believe they're starting to have more people on a boat again. So double check that. And also the gondoliers usually sing an Italian song, but due to current circumstances, they can't sing. So that's that was a bummer. This is the palazzo, uh, the check-in area, the lobby. It's so beautiful. It wasn't too crowded, which is great. So yeah, it's definitely very nice to walk around there. And at night, this is the view outside of the, the window. The hallways also are super freezing, so that's kind of, I think it's safer to have lower temperatures to keep, you know, all the germs away. So it is a little bit hot and cold walking in and out of the room. So what was nice is we got a complimentary continental breakfast at Palazzo and here it is. We got like a bagel, hard boiled egg, grapes, and yeah, it was really convenient to get. It was like on restaurant row and moves very efficiently, very quickly. Can't complain with free 99. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's very nice of them. Fresh root. Hard boiled egg, bagel with jam, and peanut butter. <laughs> and my nails. <laughs> yeah, let me zoom in on this. And if you want coffee, more coffee, they have an Illy Cafe with gelato. So I didn't actually go and get it, but it was very tempting. And yeah, we we didn't really gamble. Um, we mostly just walked around the hotel, sight saw, and um, we're thinking about going to the spa. But um, it wasn't fully open, so that wasn't um, as worth it to pay the full price for partially opened facilities. So maybe when they're fully open, we'll go to the spa. Anyways. It's very beautiful inside. They have the love water fountain there. And different parts of the day, it's like waves of people taking photos. Sometimes no one's taking photos and there's no line. So, you know, you can just wait it out and take a photo when no one else is taking a photo, so it's less crowded. Um, the outside, it was very sunny when we went. Yeah, so this is outside of the Venetian. We walked to the wind, which is very close and nearby. We didn't need to take any Ubers or cabs or drive anywhere. We stayed pretty much within the resort. It was pretty uh, convenient. A lot of stuff to check out there. So we walked around the shops at the wind, and then we kind of window shopped, looked around there. Just nice to get away and just have a change of scenery. You know, just weird not seeing as many people out there, but it looks like they're trying to move people from walking on the streets where all the cars are onto bridges. I think that will help with the traffic situation a lot better because a lot of people cross the roads without even looking at if it's a crossing light or not. So yeah, this is the win. Everyone is wearing masks. I feel like they really take it seriously at Vegas. They have plexiglass between all the casino tables. 
and they take your temperature everywhere so uh, definitely feel like they take it seriously and keep try to keep it safe and clean for everyone so that was nice so yeah this is the atrium at the win it wasn't that, that crowded got to get some good photos there Yeah, this was like a weekday, like I believe it was Monday, so it's definitely less crowded. Um, so it, depending what you prefer to be around, more people or not, but um, weekends and weekdays definitely have a noticeable difference. So if you wouldn't mind, give this video a like and subscribe if you like vi more videos like this. Um, and try to share some insight whether things are worth it or not and um, just my opinion um, about different things. <laughs> so yeah, comment um, which is your favorite hotel in Vegas. If you like the Palazzo and the Venetian, or you like Wynn, or Bellagio, let, let me know what, which one is your top three favorite hotels. Um, after swimming, we got um, the Alley, which is here in LA also, like in Roland Heights, and I think Arcadia or something. Um, so it was nice to get boba in Vegas. <laughs> and across, there's a really nice hot pot restaurant. I feel like hot pot restaurants are just getting more and more luxurious. <laughs> so yeah, this is, I believe, the ube yeah. brown yeah. sugar boba. Uh, another food option is at the Palazzo is this pizza place. They're based in the New York location, and I think there's one in Orange County. I forgot the name. But yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah, it's right above Major Domo, like, and you smell the pizza just walking by, you have to, like, <laughs> makes, if you're not craving pizza, it makes you crave pizza. <laughs> then here, we're checking out. Actually, we checked out using a mobile app, but this is the check-in, check-out area of the Palazzo. On the ride back, we pass by the seven, I forgot what this is called, the seven something, but it's the Rainbow Rocks, and, um, Last time we stopped there and took photos, but this time we just stayed in the car. There's some nice stops um, if you take a road trip to Vegas. This time we didn't stop there, but we stopped at a place called Eddie's World, and it has ice cream, candy, AC, and restrooms, so that was nice um, part of the road trip experience. The landscape, scenery, there's like deserts and mountains, so it kind of definitely makes you feel like you're getting away and um, in a different place, but not too far. So yeah, um, thank you for watching this video. If you plan to go to Vegas um, and watch this to get ideas, let me know what was your favorite parts and which ones you're going to try out or which ones I missed and you would recommend that's near the Palazzo Venetian area. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching and have a good one. <laughs>